of mine, you know, you know Ask me what I'm doing, just grinding Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them Be more pins, tryna reach the next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the photos So official with the vibe, you can pick up my zone Hold on for a minute, let me count mine, you know, you know What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damien Cryer, and I am back with another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. Your boy is doing all right. If you have not subscribed to the Cryer family, man, all you gotta do is turn that bell on, subscribe to the channel. Turn the bell on only means the bell is on. You have to turn your notifications on also in order to get a notification every time I drop a video on the Cryer family, which is usually every day or every other day but I try not to go that long without uploading. Also guys, if you don't know, I will be dropping the link to my Gold Diggers prank channel in the description box down below, man. You guys are so awesome, man. Thanks for going over there and subscribing to that channel, man. It's lit over there. I'm telling you, I've been dropping videos over there every single day. I've been working hard, grinding, just for you guys to keep you guys entertained because that's what I do as an entertainer. Also guys, I have a Facebook page. It's called Damien Cryer. Go to Facebook right now. I mean, literally right now. Stop the video, man. Go to Facebook, type in Damien Cryer. You will know that you're on the right page if you see Gold Digger videos over there. Ain't nothing but bangers dropping on that channel over there. Go on over there and follow my Facebook page right now, bro. Right now. Thank you all in advance, man. So anyway, I'm actually downtown. Well, I'm in parts of downtown Houston right now. Waiting on my peoples to pull up and stuff. Uh, we're gonna have a little lunch and stuff, with, you know with a couple of my friends and stuff like that and hang out for about an hour or so. But guys, you know, like, y'all know like what's been going on recently. Uh, we have a YouTuber, right? A YouTuber who was recently shot. Y'all know him as CJ So Cool. Uh, he's a pretty big YouTuber that's well known in the YouTube community. Um, like myself, he do like a lot of family videos. He does like, um, you know, like family vlogs and stuff, pranks and stuff like that. Uh, but he does it like on maybe like a bigger scale than I am so recently um, It was confirmed that he was shot four times and a lot of times We're shot by people. Well, you know people are not we but people are shot by people that they actually know Then sometimes people are actually shot and killed by people that they don't know. I had a situation um, I'll never forget 1997 1997 guys your boy was shot six times you know i know how that stuff feels and it doesn't feel good i remember when i got shot people actually thought that it was a joke like like in 1997 i wasn't even doing youtube i don't even know if youtube was around then it might have been i just don't know but people actually thought it was a joke that i had got shot until they actually seen it on the news and realized, well, damn, Damien Cryer really got shot because I was one of those people, I was doing stuff right, but people looked at me like I wasn't that type of person to be doing the type of things I was doing. So I ended up getting shot. Um, it was a drug deal, as you guys know. I don't really hide nothing from you guys. Like I always tell you guys about my past, about my life and stuff. Um, and I be wanting to share that stuff with you guys. But I had a situation in 1997. I had a guy call me one day. And the guy who shot me, I didn't know him at all. Never met the guy before. And I don't, you know, he's dead. He actually was killed um, two days after I was in the hospital recovering. It's crazy because, like, all of my family members was around my bed at the hospital, you know, talking to me, checking on me. And the, the news is on. And right when the news came on, it said a couple of days earlier where a Fort Wayne man was shot multiple times that somebody was killed inside that same residence where I where I was shot at outside the residence. So, But that's the guy who actually shot me. So he ended up getting killed as well while I was in the hospital. But when I got shot, man, like obviously you don't expect to get shot nobody wakes up and say well today i'm gonna get dressed up and i plan on getting shot today it just happens but my situation was i was in the street life i was involved in doing the illegal thing and you know i you know i don't mind talking about it now 
because that's a part of my past. Um, but I didn't see it coming, guys. I did not see it coming. The house that I went to, I had went several times before because I had lived in the same neighborhood. And so it wasn't really but like a few doors down from my house. And I went down there to, you know, sell some packages or whatever. And I remember it was it was a summertime. It was it was dark outside. But you know, like it get dark outside in the summertime around 8.30 or 9 o'clock. So it was dark outside, but it really wasn't pitch dark. So in the summertime, you have your door open but you have like your screen door locked. So when I went to the house and I knocked on the door, which, oh, it was with my left hand. I had knocked on the screen door with my left hand, but the inside of the door was open, the door that actually closes the house off, which I thought it was really, really odd because it was pitch dark black. And I'm like, well, maybe they're in there doing something, you know? And so when I knocked at the door, nobody said nothing. So as I went to knock again, I didn't even hear the shot. All I seen was a flash. And I remember my left hand getting jolted back. And then after my hand jolted back, I heard another shot and I was hit again, which spun me around. And when that shot spun me around, I reached to grab my gun from my waist. And before I can pull my gun and draw it, I remember stumbling and falling to the grass and the shots just kept coming. Boom, 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 boom. And that's all I remember until like I heard people screaming and stuff like the neighbors were screaming and you can hear like the EMS and fire department in the background like in the distance coming and stuff and at that time I realized that I was shot and I'm thinking to myself maybe I'm gonna die here until I actually was rolled over in the grass I, I, I remember uh, police officers and fire department people first responders they were rolling me over in the grass I had shorts on I believe they were cutting my shorts and stuff off and my shirt off and they were trying to see where I was hit at. Like, cause all they seen was a lot of blood, but it was so much blood that they couldn't really see where the hit was. Um, they realized I was shot in multiple areas of my body. But I remember laying in that hospital bed, man, just thinking to myself, because at that time, let me set this camera down. At that time, when my life was almost taken from me, I wasn't on social media. I wasn't well known the way that I'm known now. And I always tell people all the time, even in my videos, I'm not famous. You guys are never find a video where I'm calling myself famous. I've never addressed myself as being famous and I don't address myself as now of being famous. I just consider myself well known on social media. But I remember when I was laying in that hospital bed, you know, I mean, so much stuff went through my mind. I remember watching a Biggie Smalls movie. Um, I think it was called, the movie is called Notorious. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, in the comment section. I think the uh, movie was called Notorious. And it was about Biggie Smalls life as a kid and how he grew up, you know, he was selling dope at school on the street corners. And then he ended up getting shot one day. And he said that while he was in a hospital bed, laying on his back, he started reflecting on a whole bunch of stuff you know, and when you're in the hospital, man, laying on your back, you don't think the way that you would think if you was at home sitting on the couch watching television or rolling a blunt or something like that up. When you're in the hospital laying on your back, you think about so much, man. You know, your life literally flashed right before your eyes. And sad to say for Biggie Smalls, the stuff that he thought about while he was laying on his back, the worst ended up happening. He ended up getting shot and killed. Um, and so it's a situation like the reason why I bring CJ so cool up because it's a constant reminder of the threats that's out there when you do social media, when you're well known, people have gotten shot and killed for a lot less. Like they say, well, he got shot because he wears all of his jewelry and he's real flashy, but he's always been like that. You know, he's always wore a lot of jewelry. And, you know, when you young like that, me personally, and, and this this is just me. When you young like that, you do stuff like that. If I was his age and I was making money like that back then in my 20s, early 20s, I'd be doing the same thing. And, and anybody who say that they wouldn't do 
what a lot of the young people do now wearing the flashy jewelry and stuff when they was their age if they say that they wouldn't do that you lying because if you would you would do that you know but i had a situation a while back where my address was leaked online no big deal no big deal i mean people already knew where i lived at it's not like um denzel washington or anything like that where my life was in danger i had a situation happen a while back where my house like my address was leaked online and all this other stuff and it didn't even really bother me because i'm like oh well good so what i did was i upgraded you know i got a big old thing in front of my house where you can't even walk up to my house literally you can't even walk to the door and knock you can't ring the doorbell or anything literally you can't even ring my doorbell in order to get inside my house you have to actually call me if you have my phone number you have to call my phone and I have to go out and unlock the gate um you can't even climb over there or nothing i mean it's 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 really nice i upgraded my security i updated my security system um i'm very well protected i'm not even gonna sit here and lie i'm very very well protected but all the protection in the world and all the security cameras in the world don't stop anybody from bringing harm your way people want to get to you they're going to do what they got to do to get to you so just you know i was just sitting here thinking today like man because i watched like a couple other videos about him getting shot and it just made me really think about my situation like i said i'm not on his level you know um but i do know people and i know people very close to me that's you know pretty well up there pretty high and you know it just really makes you think a lot man like because what happened to him can happen to anybody you know you have a lot of speculations on the internet now and, you know this is the way that the internet is like he gets shot and then you hear all these new rumors and all these new speculations that start surfacing everybody start talking about this person that person pointing their fingers at this person that person and then you find out later on that it wasn't even that me personally you know, I don't know CJ. I've, I've never met the man. I know of him. Just like he don't know me, but he probably knows of me. But I feel like from my understanding, the man had just moved and got a new place. So I feel like it probably was somebody who actually knows him very well. Already knew his location and stuff. I don't know if he's ever showed his address or like showed like his personal stuff, like where he moved to and stuff. But, um just it's bad and then like you have like a lot of social media influencers that actually got killed for a lot less and the reason why i say that is because i was like a few months i was doing this video uh, a few months ago i had did a video for you guys i had never released a video um but a few months ago i was doing a video for you guys and i was talking about all of the youtubers who actually got killed while they were actually still a part of YouTube in a big way. And I say a lot of people got killed for a lot less. They say CJ might have got shot because of jury and all this other stuff. But I've seen stuff on YouTube where YouTubers were actually stalked and killed. Because they had people who was obsessed with them. People who followed them around. People who doxed them. People who sat outside their houses. Some YouTubers had to move multiple times. Um, I think it was last year in 2022 or 2023 where a female YouTuber was actually killed by her uh, ex-boyfriend. And the, and the reason why she was killed by her ex-boyfriend because when they were together, they were living like, you know, like a regular life, you know, like going to work and stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that. But then she decided to take it a step further and start social media and she did like a couple of videos that really blew her up in a big way so she started getting the attention that he wasn't used to her getting like you know more followers on all her social media platforms like instagram facebook twitter TikTok. she started becoming well known and it became a threat to him so eventually after all the arguing and fighting and all the crazy stuff they ended up breaking up well during the breakup she ended up moving forward with her um, YouTube career, you know, and obviously when you do YouTube and you get a good name for yourself, 
it doesn't just come with fame it comes with money it comes with a lot of damn money i'm not even gonna lie to y'all you make a lot of freaking money on social media so he ended up getting jealous and he ended up um killing her um but that wasn't the only story that i heard about where a youtuber was shot and killed there was another story that happened just last year where another well-known youtuber was shot and killed in that case right now to this day is still unsolved so it's like when you become a social media influencer you're happy to be able to show things because like me i came from nothing like my mom had five sons and one daughter you know i never really met my dad you guys already know the story so it's like when i came up and you know i got a good job and started making good money of course i wanted to show off a little bit because i had actually came from nothing but it's like when you come up on social media like that man you have to really be careful because you always got people out there watching you and you got a lot of people that's watching you for the wrong reason you got people watching you for the wrong reason i'm the type of person i document everything bro i'm telling you i document everything and believe it or not i do report a lot of stuff i just don't say nothing so if I see like, I have gotten like some emails be before sent to me by email. And this was before my address was leaked last year. Somebody sent me my address and said, I know where you live. And then they sent me like a picture of a gun emoji. The same person, like a few days later, sent me another email. And in the email, they said, I got 24 hours to live. You know, so it's stuff like that. And, um... I did email the person back, me being who I am, I was sarcastic as hell. I said, I'll be waiting. And then they emailed me again, like a few days later, and I told him I'm still waiting. And so I ended up reporting that. I was threatened online before a couple of times. I actually documented it and I reported it. Um, I got a whole lot of reports because you have to like take stuff serious. Like you have to believe, like we're in a world now, man, where people actually would tell you what they're gonna do to you. And they're actually gonna do it where it didn't used to be like that people used to move in silence where they'll just come up on you when you're not expecting it now people they're let they will let you know what they're gonna do to you i mean it's crazy man but anyway i just want to say man prayers out to that young man and his family um pray for a fast and speedy recovery that that man gets back on his feet um from my understanding none of the bullet shots were our are life-threatening and um you know even if they're not life-threatening or not it's the fact that another young man was shot and there is one thing i don't even know man like the right words for me like it's one thing getting shot in the street and it's horrible it's horrible it's horrible to get shot in the street but bro imagine getting shot in your home where you lay your kids at where your woman come sometimes come over and lay her head at where you have children at some time imagine getting shot in your home man that is like that's that's just crazy man you know and i hope that they bring the people to justice who did it um my situation i was lucky you know that i was able to be here today and talk about my situation um am i happy that the guy who shot me six times is dead let's just say i'm not mad about it he's not out there to kill anybody else or try to shoot anybody because he tried to literally take my life you know he literally tried to take my life you know but in my situation i was in the street doing stuff that i shouldn't have been doing so maybe i deserve what i got but i would say if a person is in their home in the comfort of their own home and you sitting there getting shot four times in the comfort of your own home, bro. I will say that that is completely, completely messed up, man. But guys, drop a comment down below if you guys are aware of the situation. Um, and let me know um, what you think of this video. But I'm finna get up out of here, man. But I love you guys. I'm Damian Cryer. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace.